Whoopsie Daisy! I can't stand intros. Hey guys, I hope you're having a super fantastic day wherever you are. Uh, thanks for sticking around and uh, watching that video. And if you're at the very end of this, I thought it'd be fair to tell you a little bit of the catastrophes that I dealt with uh, to bring this knife to fruition. It was a lot of work. Um, I 
I kind of told myself, I'm not going to do this anymore until I start getting some proper tools because it's just too hard on this old man's hands, my thumbs and uh, et cetera. And uh, I think I could probably do a better job too with better tools. But um, this is where I ended this one. Okay, so we're looking at uh, 01 tool steel, uh, 3 16 thick. It started out as an inch wide. I think it's probably about an inch at its widest point. Um, let's see, we may as well do the uh, the ruler thing while we're at it. Uh, we got a blade length, or a handle length, sorry, of four and a half inches. And the reduced blade length of three and a half, and I think that gives us a total of, uh, my math is good, eight inches. And I say reduced because, yeah, you did see what happened. I found a, um, I found a small curvature after I did the heat treat by putting it into that um, bucket of um, briquettes. I must have just bent it a little bit. I probably could have left it alone. It wasn't noticeable, but my OCD is a little bit strong and I noticed it. So I tried fixing it and of course I snapped it and the, the footage that I couldn't show you was reprofiling it. Originally, you've seen that swoop that I had which I really, really, I really dug it, but I had to flatten it to get it back to point. And uh, it's kind of got a sax kind of feel going on with a belly. And God, really, it's actually very comfortable in the thumb. That The, the whole thing is very comfortable. Uh, the footage also was missing was drilling out the holes. And you can see this one's off center. Um, this one's a little bit off center too. Again, with a drill press, I probably would have done a better job. Uh, this is walnut. Uh, these are brass 3 16 sorry, 3 16 pins and a 5 16 brass tube. I think overall, it's not too bad. Um, it's just going to be another one to the collection. Is it finished at this stage? No. Knowing me, I'll probably end up um, scandy vexing this perhaps right now it's got a secondary bevel on there um, really sharp I should probably pull out some paper and show you how sharp it is but that's you've seen that before the true test is is what the heat treat is going to be like so you'll see this in future videos I might take it out into the woods make some coffee and we'll see how I did with the heat treat I think it's pretty good it's really really hard right now so you can see I still got some scratches to remove and this is some of the scale that's left behind. I just, I, I just got frustrated with the catastrophes that I was dealing with. And uh, I said, okay, I'm just gonna put this video out <clears throat> for you guys to sort of see the part of the process and um, see how it evolves. You're gonna see this in other videos. I haven't made a pouch for it yet. So, you know, you might see this in intros or intros that I can't stand in the future. And also this may turn into a giveaway. So um, give me your thoughts on the, on the giveaway thing. I was gonna maybe wait for a certain number of subscribers. I don't know. Again, this is going to evolve. It, <clears throat> it might get to the point where I don't wanna give it away because uh, I, I sort of modify things as they go along. So I don't know what it's gonna look like in its finished process or finished product, I guess. And um, also, I need a name. Uh, if you are a regular to this channel, you've seen all my other uh, homemade knives. I give them names like, you know, the otter, the badger, the elk, uh, names of animals and things like that. I don't know. See what you think. Leave your comments down below if you think there, there's a name that would fit this knife. I haven't got one right now in mind and I'll engrave it right in here. Anyway, that's where we're at right now. Thanks so much for watching. And um, I hope you like that song. And uh, that's pretty much it. Have a super fantastic day. Bye for now.